ever have one of those days where everything seems to be going wrong? Well, today's book is about a kid that's having one of those days. And it is called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And it is written by Judith Forrest and illustrated by Ray Cruz. So he has used all kinds of adjectives to describe his day. Terrible, horrible, no good, and very bad. All mean the same thing, right? Some of them are stronger words than others. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Look at how grumpy he looks. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. There he is, looking very disappointed. I think I'll move to Australia. Australia is very, very far away from us, friends. Kind of the opposite side of the world. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. There he is. Squished in there. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. He doesn't even have anything on his paper. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moya was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. Well, that's pretty stinky. You can have lots of best friends. You don't have to put them in an order, do you? I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Wow, he is really upset. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, bad day. He looks so sad. Nothing's going right, but I hope he can turn his day around. We are going to keep reading and find out. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. Hard to have to go to the dentist after school. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And here he is with his hurt foot. His brother called him a crybaby. That's not very nice. While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. 
I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everyone. No one answered. Everybody has one of those days sometimes. You got to figure out ways to turn it around, right? So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. He's really bummed out. It's just not turning around for him yet. I hope later. See what happens later. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copy machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books in his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Look at his dad doesn't look very happy either. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. They were kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. Boy, he can't find anything good about the day. Oh, you guys see the cat behind me? Chloe's getting something to eat. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Sometimes you just got to go to bed and start over the next day, huh? So she said, Mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. Okay, friends, I hope you are having a wonderful, terrific, good, not bad day. And I will talk to you soon.